Hi, I'm Nick Gosh for Steve Taylor Under the Hood. I'm here with Mike Riley. Yeah. So, what's your job here at Taylor Automotive? I am actually a sales consultant for the Taylor Automotive family. So, do you like sell cars? Yep, I sell cars. I, uh, I went necess don't necessarily sell cars, though, as I like to say. We, uh, we help people problem solve and uh, find solutions to everyday problems, right? What, um, what, how many years have you been working here at Taylor? Actually, here at Taylor, I am approaching uh, my one year anniversary. So, um, my nephew, Andrew Riley, who's been in the finance office for about six years now, uh, is the one that kind of clued me in and uh, and made made me aware that there was a position open and so I uh, I came in and I went through the process and uh, they liked me enough to keep me around you know <laughs> so you said that um, you worked here for one year how long has your brother been working here at Taylor so it's it's actually my nephew although people do get us mixed they do get us mixed up because we're pretty close in age but Andrew has been with the Taylor family for about uh, ten years now wow that's a long time. Yeah, yeah, and he really appreciates the the way that the, they've been taking care of him over the years. So, what was your first car you ever had? <laughs> so, uh, my very first car was a uh, I, I don't even know the year of it, but it was a Dodge Omni. I want to say it was like an 80, 1988, somewhere around in that range. Uh, Dodge Omni, very basic controls. Didn't even have a cassette player. That was before CDs were a thing, you know, and uh, so. Yeah, we, uh, we, we, we roughed it in the, the Riley family using that Dodge Omni, but uh, eventually it made its way over to me, and that was my very first car. What color was it? <laughs> it was uh, like a burgundy red color. <laughs> <laughs> do you still have that car? No, no, we do not. <laughs> nope. Uh, actually, my brother had it, I think, for maybe a year before I did, and then after, after I had it, uh, it was ready to go to the, to the junkyard. <laughs> um, what was your... Um, Dream car they drive. Oh, geez. Or dream, collect it. Dream car? Well, at the time, I would say uh, a Jeep Wrangler was something that I was always uh, kind of privy to that was up on my list. And then I actually purchased one of those. And uh, and so I, I really like the, the Jeep Wrangler. I'm a snowboarding guy, so uh, throwing my, my snowboards up on top of the racks up there was kind of fun. But, uh, you know, today, uh, being, being where I'm at uh, with the dealership here, I think the most desirable car for me on our lot is the Genesis GV80. You know, that's uh, that's like the uh, the cream of the crop right there. So maybe one day. What do you what do you do you drive now? So I actually, uh, ironically enough, I am still uh, driving my 2010 Jeep Wrangler. So uh, I gave it to my daughter, and then it made its way back to me somehow. So. I'm, I'm in the process right now. I'm waiting for the Tucson, the 2025 Tucson hybrids uh, to hit our lot because I'm in the market to uh, purchase one of those. Hey, um, so what's your favorite thing about working here at Taylor? Uh, you know, I really uh, appreciate the fact that uh, Taylor goes out of their way to get so involved with the community that we, that the communities that we service. Um, I just think that, uh, that giving back is uh, such an important pillar of life. And uh, you know, to, to be a part of an organization that puts that at the forefront is uh, is, is pretty amazing. Um, what's your favorite color of a car here at Taylor? Um, favorite color? That's a great question, actually. Um, it can't be anything blue because you know I do have some uh, Buckeye roots. <laughs> so um, probably I would say probably the Vic Black. Uh, on the GV80 is probably probably one of my favorites. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah, it's a sharp car. Um, what do you have any good hobbies out outside of working here? So I uh, I'm a golfer. I play tennis. Uh, I really love snowboarding, uh, and when I get the opportunity to uh, wake surf, I really enjoy that as well. Uh, I sports. Uh, you know, I, I come from a, a, a sports background, basketball background, and so. A lot of those snow sports uh, were forbidden uh, when I was growing up, so uh, I, I took those up after you know my uh, playing career was over, and I really enjoy you know the snowboarding and and uh, anything on a board, you know. So, um, what is the best type of vehicle that sells the best here at Taylor? Uh, you know, I think right now uh, probably the Elantra is uh, the Hyundai Elantra is right at the top of that list. Uh, fuel economy, uh, safety, technology. Uh, it checks all those boxes, and when you can get a, a gas-powered vehicle that averages about 36, 37 miles per gallon, 
you know that that's a uh, that that goes a long ways in today's society. If you were gonna sell me a car, which one do you say I should get? Ah, uh, well, that would just depend on your. I would flip that back on you and find out what your needs are, and uh, and then we would kind of go down that road together and try to figure out, um, you know, what the the best option would be. But I would ask you a lot of questions. <laughs> um, is it chili a soup? Ooh, um, geez, I mean, technically, I guess it's classified as a soup but I would call it more of a stew because it kind of you know the longer it sets the better it the better it tastes I think that's that's true for any soups but uh, yeah I'll, I'll just say it's a stew <laughs> it's very also a soup is what cereal cereal no cereal is absolutely not a soup <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your favorite restaurant here in the Toledo area you know I uh, I, I live close to uh, Levis Common so uh, um, you know the basil over there is a uh, is a place that uh, I, I like uh, you know their pizzas over there and uh, and just the environment. So I would say that's probably one of my top favorite restaurants in the Perrysburg area. I also like going downtown Perrysburg to Swig. Uh, you know my nephew actually uh, and my brother uh, kind of opened my eyes to the the land of Swig and and I do uh, appreciate going over there for for dinners as well. And um, last question is a hot dog sandwich. Um. Let's see, it can be a sandwich, uh, and actually, the way my dad used to make them, <laughs> they were sandwiches. We'd slice them up and put them on a bun because we didn't have any hot dog buns, you know? They'd be on a hamburger bun, but uh, I would say, yeah, a hot dog, uh, by, in its true form, I would say it's not a sandwich, but it could be made to be a sandwich. <laughs> Good question. And then my last question, it's kind of a, it's kind of a, a brain teaser. Okay. Um, uh, if you were a new Crayola crayon, based on you, what would your color be called? <laughs> this is a good one. Um, gee, I, I would say um, if there was a new Crayola crayon, I would probably want it to, to, to be called uh, Bright, right? Not necessarily... Uh, you know, from a witty standpoint, but just, uh, you know, every day when I, when I come into a room, I just try to energize that room, uh, smile at people, uh, just bring good energy. So if I, if I had a Crayola crayon, I think I would want it, I would want it to be called Bright. All right, thanks, Mike Riley, for joining me here on Steeler Taylor's Under the Hood.